Hey guys, what is up? Eben here. Uh, go ahead and take a look at this clip. And this was one of the things that really wore on me as a healer. If you were a healer and you had to farm consumables, you were you gotta screwed. Respect, bitch. Because you did next to no damage to gold. mobs. There was no spell power back then. Oh like no. Tier nowadays. 2 and Tier 1 only gave you bonus healing, which meant your offensive spells did no extra damage whatsoever. Yep. So farming was extremely slow and extremely painful. Not only that, there was no dual talent option where you could simply switch from Resto to Feral and even if you could, you probably didn't even have the Vanilla proper Druid, gear for that spec way. because all the items that had agility and strength Great game. went to warriors and rogues who needed it for their main spec. Of course. So, oftentimes people think that healers in vanilla especially druids had a really tough time farming gold i'm going to prove to you that not only are druids fast gold farmers but they also have some of the most options when it comes to farming gold in classic wow so as you can see here i'm a moon glow spec where a moon glow nature's grace for reduced mana costs and then i'm full restoration with all my other points you can do this as any spec but i'm just showing you that if you are a healer you can do this as well here is a preview of the gear that I'm wearing for this tutorial. Obviously I have a lot better gear, but I just wanted to show you that you can do this in very minimal gear. Uh, I'm wearing low level 50 to mid level 50 blues. Uh, the only epic that I have is tier one bracers, which you can buy off the auction house. Everything else just has intellect on it. And that's really all I'm looking for is to have a decent sized mana pool. And that's about all I need. Okay guys, now that we have that out of the way, I'm going to explain my secret. I don't really see many people doing this at all. Um, I actually was, when I was first farming, I was trying to go bear form and swipe farm. Uh, I also was trying to go into cat form a lot and with full feral gear try and DPS things down as cat. Even when I'm full feral, I will still use this method. It is by far the fastest way of killing things and that is by using an AoE farming method using bark skin and hurricane as well as both of your dots moonfire and insect swarm. Obviously if you're full feral you won't be able to use insect swarm and you'll just be using moonfire. Okay jumping right into it we obviously open on our mobs we apply a moonfire followed by insect swarm and we do this to every mob in our vicinity. Um, obviously mages AoE farm by gathering up all the mobs first I just found that this is easiest to apply my dots on and then deal with AOE. So now that we have all our mobs gathered up, we throw Rejuvenate on ourselves, we throw Bark Skin, and then we channel Hurricane. Now the reason we we pair Hurricane and Bark Skin together is so the mobs don't interrupt our channeling cast. Hurricane is very mana intensive, so at this point you'll realize with lower gear you're almost oom, so your options are to either go bear form and slowly kill the rest of them, or you can stay humanoid form and you can use insect swarm and your heals to keep yourself alive. And as you can see, there's a mage here farming as well. He thinks since I'm low, he can go ahead and use that opportunity to kill me. That's why I always like to have cooldowns in my bag. I had NS, so I was able to NS. I had innervate, so I was able to innervate. And now at this point, I can easily kill him. He's no longer an issue. I'm telling you guys, druids are extremely fast farmers. I'm able to farm this area and make this loop of water elementals before they even get a chance to respawn. I'll show you here in a minute. I also love this area because you can farm satyrs, which drop fell cloth, and they sell for a good amount as well. I'm even able to kill many more satyrs than I am water elementals. I can kill up to six to ten satyrs at one time. Fellwood is an amazing spot for druids also because you have teleport to Moonglade. So no matter where your hearthstone is or whatever you're doing in the world, you're easily able to get to Fellwood and farm. And there's a relatively low amount of people in this zone. And most of them tend to be here to farm herbs. I know with a lot of these pulls, you see my health and mana dipping pretty low. Um, this is something you just have to get used to as a druid and kind of know your limits. Obviously with this very low um, blue gear. I do tend to get lower in mana and health um, than I would when I'm more geared, but that just goes to show you that um, once you understand how a druid plays and you know your limits, you can easily pull 
these these packs and also like i said it's good to have your ns your innervate um tubers demonic runes this kind of thing um at hand so if you do find yourself in a sticky situation uh you can easily get out of it uh, and here's my point guys as you can see i made one lap around these water elementals uh, and they still haven't spawned so i'm actually going to basically sit here and wait for them to respawn uh, that's how fast i can kill these uh packs so I like killing these water elementals. Uh, there is a little bit of downtime, like I said, waiting for the packs to respawn um, when you've got the, the loop down. Uh, so let me go ahead and show you another spot that is really good if this spot is taken by someone or if you just kind of want some diversity. And I'm telling you guys, I farm here all the time and I never see any other classes that can farm as quickly and as effectively as I can. Okay. Now, this farming technique can be used on mobs all around the world, okay? But let's say you don't really like farming out in the world. You want to do some other content. Well, good news is Druid has many, many more options available to them. Gathering professions on Druids are amazing as you can skin and you can pick herbs while in travel form. This allows you to easily get node to node or from corpse to corpse. Also, guys, real quick in this footage, just letting you know, PSA, make sure you always remind Alliance of their poor faction choices when it comes to World of Warcraft. So now that we know that we can AOE farm out on Druid and that we know that we can use professions like skinning and herbalism to our advantage using cat form, what else are we able to do? Well, we can do DM East jump runs with a warrior, Skarm, recently did a video on this so go ahead and check that out however on a, on horde side oftentimes you'll be replaced with a shaman as wind fury totem is a little bit more effective but don't worry if you can't do dm east or you want something else you can always do tribute runs stealth tribute runs with a rogue can be very fast and efficient it's almost like soloing it as a hunter except you're bypassing all the mobs using stealth once you have these stealth runs down, you can easily complete them in around 8 to 10 minutes. As a hunter, you basically double that time, and that's about how long it'll take you to run it. So anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes, but you're keeping all the loot for yourself. Another option that you have at your disposal, obviously, is professions. I'm not going to get into each profession, obviously. Uh, if you want to learn how to make a lot of gold with professions, I suggest watching Frostodomus's uh, videos they're super super informative and also he does an amazing job editing and you just gotta love his voice too thanks for watching guys i think that about wraps it up i just want to show to you that druids really can do it all okay when it comes to gold farming they can do any of the popular farms hunters often use maradon farming druids can do maradon farming too jump runs druids can do them stealth tribute runs druids can do them lasher pack farming druids can do it all this being said, guys, Druids are still a very niche class, and, and it's not for everyone. Uh, the, play, the play style is very unique. In a later video, I'm going to cover the pros and cons of Druids and why you may or may not want to roll one come classic. If you guys like the video, please sub it up, stick around, leave some comments, any kind of feedback you have. I really do appreciate that, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.